Hey guys, today you clicked that link because you're wondering what the top three reasons are for not moving out here to the Pikes Peak region. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. You'll get all the reasons why you probably shouldn't move here if one of these things, you're going to kind of fall into one of these categories. I'll talk to you here in a minute. Hey guys, this is James Dean with James Dean Mountain Real Estate and Keller Williams Clients Choice. And I'm here today to let you know if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button here for the YouTube channel. This is what's going to guarantee that you get all of the content that you need for moving out here to the Woodland Park and the Pice Peak region. It'll also help educate you. So as you're looking to come out here, you know exactly what to look for, you know exactly what to look out for, and where to go and where to have fun and eat and drink and have a good time out here as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so that way you get notified whenever there's a new video. I've got new videos coming out here weekly. And if you're one of those folks that are looking to move to this area, please, please give me a call. I mean, I've got folks calling literally daily that are moving here to this area. They're asking me questions. They're wanting to know what things look like. So just please don't hesitate to call me, 719-304-9772. You could text me at that number as well. You could also email me at james.dean at kw.com. I would love to help you out, love to help answer some questions for you as you're looking to move here to the Pice Peak region in the Wilden Park area. This is the area I specialize in. This is my niche. I love it, and I love helping folks out just like you. So enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so today you want to know specifically about why you shouldn't move to the Pice Peak region. And these are the top three reasons that I see constantly that folks sometimes don't think about. The number one reason is if you have any kind of health conditions whatsoever that are going to be exacerbated by living at a high altitude, you definitely want to talk to your doctor before moving out here. And what I'm saying with this is if we get folks out here all the time, they don't realize how high we are. We're sitting, some of these areas up and within the Teller County area are well above 9,000 feet. Woodland Park itself can fluctuate between 8,200 to 8,700 feet within the Woodland Park area. That's significantly higher if you're used to living near sea level in different areas. And if you've got heart conditions or anything along those lines that you need to talk to your doctor about. So certainly, certainly consider that. It is an absolutely gorgeous place to live, hands down. But I also don't want you moving here and having major health issues and then suddenly realizing like, wow, I shouldn't have done this. So we also have a big lack of oxygen up here because of the altitude. And it's funny because people for the longest time would tell me, oh, just, just wait. After a month, you'll, you know, your body will get used to it. After six months, your body will get used to it. After a year, your body will get used to it. Well, two years after I was here, I finally realized, what you really get used to is just being out of breath. So and you learn how to manage that. So it's something to think about for sure, but that's easily reason number one for not moving here is if you're not ready for this altitude change. Reason number two why folks probably should consider not moving here to the uh, Pikes Peak region, specifically up here in the mountains, um, and really Colorado in general, and that is because we are so dry. So if you're somebody that really needs that moisture and that humid air to be able to feel rejuvenated, to feel like your skin's not about to flake off like a snake skin, then that's something to consider too. Because those of us that have lived here for a while, you learn very quickly chapstick is important, bottles of water, constantly staying hydrated, very, very important, lotion on the skin, especially in the wintertime, very, very important things to do. Otherwise, it gets very uncomfortable for you. So certainly think about that. It's a good thing to think about when you come out here and visit. I will say this. I have gotten very used to the dryness. I grew up in the Southeast, very, very humid, very, very hot weather and cold when it's, when it's wintertime with that humidity. And what I have discovered is, is when I go back to those humid climates, it feels good for a couple days. But after about a week, I am done with it and I'm ready to go back to my dry, my dry climate in Colorado. So it's something that I've gotten used to because it does mild the, uh, the temperatures that we have out here. So if we have extreme colds, it feels a lot less extreme when it's being dry as well as when it's hot. It feels a lot less extreme also depending on where you are within Colorado. So certainly things to think about, but that is something that is adamantly one of the things that people have the hardest time with. Um, Lots of folks will get humidifiers, they'll throw them in their bedrooms just to help out with sleeping too because of that dryness so your nose isn't dry, your throat isn't dry, and you end up coughing all night. But there are little tips and tricks to actually help kind of com combat that, but definitely something to think about that folks sometimes just don't like about being up here. 
And this is the reason number three. And really, it's my wife's reason. I mean, she loves living here, but it's something that she just misses quite a bit. So remember, we're at a very high altitude. Most of our reservoirs, um, the ones you can swim in, like down in Pueblo, they're fed by mountain water. That's snow melt and everything. I mean, it's, these are really cold waters that are up here. So even in the summertime when it does get warm, this isn't a place because of our altitude where you can just go swim in lakes, swim in creeks. You can hop in them, but they're going to be extremely cold. It's not going to potentially be as refreshing as one that you can just go kind of wade in and enjoy being in, in that sense. It'll be refreshing to sense it cools you off, but it might not be something you just want to lay in a float in um, because it's going to be so cold. But definitely something to think about. So if you're a heavy beach lover, um, you know, this is not maybe the place that you're going to have the most fun. But I mean, you could do things like I got to get my wife to the beach at least twice a year just so that she can get that, you know, that beach feel in and kind of scratches that itch for we can come right back to our mountains. Because to me, in my mind, there's a lot more stuff to do here than there is at the beach. I grew up on the beach, grew up on the water, love the water, but it was just something different that I liked being up in the mountains. But definitely something to think about too. There's other places that actually have the ability with their mountain reservoirs that is hot enough during the summertime that you do want to go swimming in. And if you're down on the front range, that might be the case for you. You've got lots of outdoor pools out there too. There's not really outdoor pools up here in the mountains. Even the pool we do have in Willow Park, it's an indoor pool, just because of how cool it gets in the evenings. And then it doesn't really get super hot in the summer times either, really to kind of justify having an outdoor pool, especially long enough to, to really kind of keep that going. And but lots of folks just have hot tubs, not, not an outdoor pool to swim in. So certainly something to think about as you're looking at doing this. Um, if that's something that's a absolute must for you, um, then you're, there's going to be some other options that you have, but they're going to be few and far between as opposed to living somewhere that might be a little bit warmer. So I hope you enjoyed today's video about, you know, the, some of the top reasons why you probably shouldn't move to the Pikes Peak region. Um, and uh, hopefully this kind of opens some, uh, some eyes as to some things that you might have questions on. Once again, my name is James Dean with James Dean Mountain Real Estate, co Client's Choice. I'm here to help answer any questions you have. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that little bell so you're notified each time there's a new video here on the YouTube channel. You can always reach out. Give me a call, 719-304-9772. As well, I'm here to help with whatever questions you might have as you're looking at transitioning to the Pice Peak region. I hope to see you again soon.